Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. And let's just get straight into it. Looks like we're under attack. We're under attack by a familiar theme, no doubt. So yeah, I'm actually going to change my jobs around a little bit uh, here. I'm going to make that a back into a time mage. I would mix. Um, I like the healing stuff. Tap. No idea. Double mantle. And I'm going to wait. Gonna wait to do the other thing. Man, this theme is so good. Uh, this way. Zaza, what's going on? X death, somehow he's gotten the jump on us. Oh crap. I love this part here. This is one of my favorite bits in World 2. Surrounded. Leave this trash to me. Don't blow it this time. I think that's my line. Oh wow, we got a lot of goblin enemies here. Come here, come here, come here. You bastard. Yeah, goldy gooks. Well, they're dead. They are toast. Mir. Mir. Die. Wow, if you keep missing, they're not gonna die. It's a watch my level. I think I'm oh yeah, I'm still plenty of plenty of ways away. Oh come here! No! God frickin' damn it! <laughs> You have to like actually like press A on them, but they're running around so it makes it really difficult. Okay. Uh well there's one more down here. Yeah, Faris just destroys these guys. Alright. So I actually oh crap. I might have screwed up. I might have screwed up. <laughs> oh no, I think I'm good. Okay. You want to change Faris's job to a thief. Uh, reason being, uh, I can just take credit for vigilance, I guess. Reason being is, uh, I want the thieves' gloves. For stealing. Hey, Gilgamesh. Ah, blue, blue skies and the rolling sea. It's days like this where you get high on life. But you sirs are harshing my buds. Alright, this is Gilgamesh round two. And you want to steal from this guy. Because you get Genji gloves, which are amazing. And uh, you can actually, where is it? You can use off guard on this guy, I believe. To lower his defense. Now I'm going to show off a new mix. Uh, turtle shell. Maiden's kiss. Succubus kiss which drains HP and deals massive damage. Which is really, really nice. Oh, hey, Inkidu. I see you allegedly as ever, faithful sidekick. The old man gave me some trouble. Oh, let's return the trouble and make it double. Come on. Did this come out before the Pokemon anime? Yeah, Inkidu uses uh, White Wind because he's a little bitch. He's still a Green Beret from the Inkidu, which is, I think, a little bit outdated now. Uh, in terms of uh, equipment. Uh, you get different dialogue depending on which one of them you kill for like, uh, last. Where's Turtle Cells? There we go. Inkidu, Inkidu will die to one Giltos, he only has about 4000 HP. Um, so he will just die there. This should actually finish him off. Yeah. Inkidu, faithful sidekick. I trust you can take care of the rest. <laughs> uh, Inkidu? Sidekicks are not to ditch the hero. I'm gonna call them shield. Yeah, if I go, I'm taking you with me. How about going for a swim? 
Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> hey, foul, that's playing dirty. I'm not supposed to be in the one in the drink. Don't think I'll forget this. You'll... Ah. Bye bye, Gilgamesh. My hands are going numb. I'm coming, hang in there. That pun is so bad, I'm gonna fall on purpose. <laughs> hey. The wind drake. Good timing. Now it's our turn to destroy. Quick hang around and get over here. Again with the puns. Oi. <laughs> right. So we beat up Gilgamesh once again. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so I'm gonna change Paris back to Ninja now. Uh, yeah, just put steel, I guess. Turn lances. A green beret gets a little bit better agility, but twist headband is generally better. Alright, let's go. I think we're meant to go below the deck. Yeah. Hey, Zaza. You're ready. Grab the other side of this box, would you? Sure. Oh, hey. Look at that. <coughs> We're now in a submarine. Very nice. What's going on? The fleet's only a decoy. The real plan is to get to the barrier tower by submarine. That's actually brilliant. You expected any less? The tunnel that leads to the barrier tower has been completed. Let's go. Very nice, very nice. Come on. Get back. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're blowing our way in. Beautiful. Come on. Alright, we are now in the barrier tower. I love this music. Indeed, all that's left is to take out take it out and the barrier tower will be destroyed. I mean the barrier will be destroyed, sorry. I'll take care of the generator downstairs. You hit the top floor and find the antenna. Find and destroy it, I assume? You got it. I'll cut the power and once that happens, you blow up the antenna. Hey, you'll need this. Alright, we get Whisperweed. So if you played Final Fantasy IV, you know what that is. With this, we can keep in contact. Let's move. So it's like medieval walkie-talkies, or medieval phones, I guess. I don't actually know what happens if you follow Zezat, that you just tell you to piss off. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, I need to change jobs around. Galav needs to be a blue mage. Oh, there it is. Uh, equip summon, I guess. Kind of put shield, right? Yeah. This hat. Yeah, sure. Alright, and... Mm, what do I want to work on with bots? I guess I can just keep him Samurai for now. Reflect Knight. New enemy here. Well, goodbye. Oh, you know what I just realized? I actually need control on bots. That's what I need to do. Yeah, you want control. And the wind slash. Throw the shield. Definitely want the hypno crown. And the gains gloves. Yeah, I forgot about those. Gloves that prevent toad and paralysis. They're very nice and they give great defense. So you can see, it's a plus 12 uh, boost of defense. So yeah, the Genji gloves are amazing. Alright, save point. I'm actually going to use a tent. And I actually do need to save here. Well, this is actually a very important save point. 
Uh, there's something coming up which may require saves coming. Yeah, this area is great and all, but I also really hate this area because there's a lot of crap involved uh, that we've got to do. And yeah, I'm nowhere near level 25. Oh, what am I doing? Um, okay, we'll come up here. Another Reflect Knight. You're not the battle I want. Yeah, we can learn a lot of blue magic in this area. And I mean a lot. Okay, here is the battle we want. The Traveler is the enemy that we want to learn a spell from. This is the easiest spell to learn in the area. The others are very, very annoying. Uh, I forget when now we can use Comet with Lena as an offensive spell. Look at that. Yeah, Comet damage is random. Uh, it won't always be that good. I can assure you. But it can be very, very useful. And just get rid of you. I should have just used control, that was dumb. Magnet is an ability that will make you move forward a row if you're in the back row. Okay. Now give bots a turn, please. Control. Very nice. And then. Alright, and we want to learn Time Slip, and we want to use it on Gallop, of course. Hey, okay, there we go. Alright, very nice. And now we can kill him. Alright. And we learned Time Slip. So what does that do? Well, you might have seen there. That was dumb. Uh, it causes sleep and old status to one enemy. Alright. So, this chest here, well, after I get into another fight. God damn, these Reflect Knights, just, I've never seen them, and there isn't this many on their own. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. This chest here is a bitch. I want to change bots, Blue Mage, and I want control. And uh, doesn't matter. One they have no crown. Okay. Uh do I wanna change Faris? Yes, actually. Change Faris. Blue Mage. Uh, uh doesn't have throw yet, so I guess Gaia. I guess Ancient Sword. Oh, it's, it's, I don't know why I'm doing this, it doesn't actually matter. Oh, I don't want the Bone Mail. Bone Mail, because it makes you undead, it makes you weak to fire, and I don't want that. Okay. Troll, Mix, Gaia, Summon. I believe... Yeah, well, you want, you want Mix. Uh, I'm just gonna heal. Just in case, okay. Now what I'm actually going to do is make a save state. If you aren't playing on an emulator like me, that's fine. Um, because you can just save at the save point that was in the last room, and just do it like this. I'm just doing it with a save state to make my life a little bit easier, but it's you can literally do the same thing, just by loading your save. Uh, this chest is not guaranteed to always be the same enemy when you open it. So if I open it and it's the wrong enemy, I'll just reset. And you would do so the same if you were playing on a Game Boy or whatever. So, let's see. And it's not the enemy, so I'm actually going to reset her. Okay, here is the enemy that we need, and this is the red dragon, and holy crap, okay. That was bad. That was a, that was probably the worst first move that you could have done. Uh, I might actually just, uh, yeah, I'm going to actually use the return spell here. And I hope they just do that again, because that, as a first move, is terrible. There we go, that's a lot better. Okay, that's why return is good. Okay, first thing we want to do is, if I can remember the mix here, is Dragon Fang Phoenix down. To get Dragon Defense. This puts Reflect on him. Now we want to defend, we want to get to bots, and we want to use control. And it didn't work. And now I got fucking Atomic Ray again. Brilliant. 
fucking brilliant. Uh, shit, okay. That was dumb. Cause like, I should have healed one of the blue mages and like used white wind. And now I have to do it twice. Okay. Now control him please, thank you. Perfect. So now he's controlled. Which is great. Cause this guy is super fucking scary. Now we want to use level 3 Flare. You can't target the party with it, which is why you want to put Reflect on him with Dragon Defense. Now it will bounce off and hit a random person that's level divisible by 3, and it hit Gallop, not Lena. If it hit Lena, that would have been the one thing that would have been bad, because Lena doesn't have learning. Which is why I changed everyone, like, a Bart's and Paris to Blue Mages. Because if it, it, like, it's a 1 in 4 chance of hitting Gallop, and I'm just, I could just easily keep dying if I get lucky. Uh, so bring Aleph back, I'm going to use Potion and Phoenix down, that's a mix, but basically it, it's a rise. It brings him back with full HP, which is amazing. Okay, now he's controlled, and now we've learnt the spell. You won't just want to use magic against him, um, so you don't wake him up. This guy has a lot of HP. You can use a level 3 flower on himself um, to get rid well. See, it's going to bounce on me, so I don't know what to do here. He's going to bounce off him and hit someone. I don't have to spell. That's a problem. That is a problem. I'm gonna have to attack. I'm gonna have to make him attack himself. Now I'm gonna use the succubus kiss. Uh, to just hopefully bring him down. Oh wow! Yes, crap. He's undead. He is undead. I forgot about that completely. Shit. Uh, you know what would be good if I used Golden? That'd be a good move. Yeah, this fight is really scary. This fight is super scary. Okay. Control again. Okay, can't use Succubus Kiss. I can use Comet though. Yeah, I forgot the Red Dragons is undead. That was stupid. Uh, just like use Gaia or something. This guy's a real bitch to take down. Oh my god, okay. Hopefully, Dragon Defense would have worn off by now. Yeah, okay, great. So now he can hit himself with it. So you just have to kind of pound away at this guy. Don't use physical attacks and it will wake him up, obviously. Oh. Uh, great control. But he's got a crap ton of HP, so you just gotta keep on keeping on. But yeah, he can, like, if he uses other attacks on himself, they will heal him because they are fire elemental. So that would be a bad idea. I should be using a thousand needles here, I do not know what I'm doing. Finally, there we go, we get 500 gills, 750 experience, 6 ability points, and we learned level 3 flare, and we get a blood sword. The blood sword's kinda ass, because uh, it can only be used by the knight. Um, but the real reason we wanted the, uh, the red dragon and not the yellow dragons from that chest is level 3 flare. But it's targets with levels that are multiples of 3. It's a really good blue magic spell. As you can see, we've not actually got that much blue magic left to learn. Which is nice, but yeah. Level 3 flare. Very, very good. Uh, so now I can change back only for a little bit. This is actually another enemy. That I'm going to need uh, lots of blue mages for. Um, so I'm going to have to use the same like bounce back strats again. Wait, no. I want Genji gloves. Um, you can go back to Ninja for a little bit. Okay. So... I'm actually going to run back to the save point. Oh, damn it, go away. Just so I can heal up from that. So obviously I used a lot of MP. So let me just, uh this real quick. Yeah, 
yeah, that fight can be pretty scary. But yeah, it's like you can quite easily do the same save strat, but you just have to keep running back, which it just takes a little bit more time. So it's just easier to for me to save state. Um, and okay, I'm still a ways away from level 25 because there is one. Yeah, that's not the only level spell that we can learn in this place. There's a level two, uh, like a level divisible by two spell that we can learn. Uh, which means yeah, I still want to be on level 24 for that. And these are all the same enemies. Uh, I'm just going to use a water scroll, I guess. Okay, so the, the scariest bit is kind of out of the way now, I guess. Wow, those guys are immune to uh, Earth, apparently. God fucking damn it, these guys are annoying as shit. Just die, please. Thank you. Can't get too many more of those fights because that gives me a lot of XP. A lot of XP. Go away, go away, go away. Right. Over here. Fourth floor, yeah, the enemy one encounter I believe is the sixth and upwards. Maybe, I can't really remember. Go away, I hate these guys. Right. Sixth floor. Oh, wait, no, it's seventh. Okay, that's a lot of gill. That's very helpful. We're gonna need gill very soon. Okay, it's out here. So, and yeah. Change back. Blue mage. Control. And hypno crown. Paris, Gaia, I guess. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we can get the enemy on this floor here. And it's not the Ziggurat Gigas. I don't want to fight you because it's a back attack. I will fight you later. Okay. Can I get the battle, please? No, apparently not. Alright, this is the enemy, the level tricker, and we want to use the same strat again of Phoenix Down plus Dragon Fang on one of these guys to get Reflect on them. And you want to kill the others because they'll just annoy you. Now we want to control the one that we put Reflect on, wonderful. Uh, and kill, yeah, kill the others. They will just piss you off. And I can just use Succubus Kiss, I guess. I've got a lot of these things. Alright. Now we want to learn level 2 old. You can obviously learn level 5 death from them, as you can see. Level 2 old. They will not use this unless you control them. And obviously, again, you can't can target your party, so you have to use Dragon Defense to get Reflect on them. And, of course, it fucking hit Lena, the one person who doesn't have blue magic. You wanna... wanna hit it is now? Oh, are you serious? It's already worn off, so I have to waste another Phoenix down, another Dragon Fang on this fucker, to get Reflect on him, to make him do it again. Thank you. Yeah, this is why you make everyone into blue mages. Otherwise, you could be here forever, and you could be here wasting all your crap, and it's really frustrating. And there we go. Learned a level too old. Bot's got learning, which could be convenient at some point, but yeah. Finally, we have all the level spells. Level too old. Hit circuits for levels that multiply by two. 
Uh, I think I've explained what old is before. So yeah, these are all the level spells in the game. There is no more. Thank God. So I'll never have to watch my level again. Uh, which is the one thing that annoys me about getting the magic. I actually want Gaia. So I can be whatever level I fucking want now. Which is wonderful. I don't need control anymore. So that's all the blue magic we can learn in this place. I believe. Unless I'm being stupid, I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. Uh, so yeah. Gallop, do you read? What was that? The Whisperweed? Zezza! Repeat, Gallop, do you copy? Over. I hear you loud and clear. Good. I've made it to the generator. Over. Everything looks all clear on this end. Oh, uh oh. Where the fuck out? Don't worry about this. You just get over to the reaper as you can. Gotcha. Uh, over. <laughs> Alright, good time to end the episode. That is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. In the next episode, we will continue up the Barrier Tower. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.